going to uh, play a little bit of some team fight tactics while we're waiting for uh, Luke to wake up. Um, if you haven't played this game, it's a uh, it's a game based on the characters of League of Legends. If you play League of Legends, I don't know where you've been because it's a really popular game, probably one of my favorite games. Um, I might even go ahead and do some of the streams of League of Legends on uh, this channel. Um, but for right now, we're just going to hop into it. Um, and hopefully, I have everything set up. We're just going to play normal for now. We might get in some rank later, but it's just a warm up. Try to have a little bit of fun while we're doing it. I always kind of push the same team too. Um, I gotta turn this down a little bit because it is like way over, over uh, taking me right now. But um, it's probably one of my my one of my favorite games because it's it's very challenging. It's very hard to go ahead and um, pull off the victory. There's a lot of variables in it. Um, as I was saying, you know, I do always try to go ahead and kind of pull off the, where, where am I? Am I good? There we go. Get out of here. Get, get, get out of here. All right. Um, but I always try to go ahead and kind of push the same team because it's broken. Um, <laughs> there's some other teams that you can go ahead and kind of, uh, mess around with. Um, Celestial Hyper Roll is a really good one. And uh, you could literally just go ahead and play all rebels. That's actually pretty good as well. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the build that um, I usually mess with. Hopefully we can get uh, set up pretty well. And I'll try to go through some things that I've learned uh, from actually Luke telling me, and then also just kind of from playing the game. This runs a lot better on the computer than it does on. Uh, <laughs> Than it does on. Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta think here. I want. Oh shit. Well, uh, what I really would have wanted to get right there is sword, or I would have wanted bow, but I accidentally grabbed. Uh, I accidentally grabbed uh, twisted fate here. Turn this down just a little bit in my headset. It's going crazy. Um. Tier's not bad, but the item I want is sword. Sword can become so many good things. Um, if you play League of Legends, you know, sword can go ahead and be um, the Infinity Edge, I think it's called, which goes ahead and like deals more crit damage. Or um, you know, there's, just, there's there's a lot of good items that can be made with that. The GA, which is Guardian, can be made with that. Uh, and as you see here, we got another tier. Uh, two tiers actually makes a Seraph, which just is awesome. We want that for. Um, one of our uh, tokens, one of the people that we're looking for here. Uh, we're gonna pick up a uh, man. Uh, we're gonna pick up the Ziggs. We're gonna pick up one of the Twisted Fates. Um. Ooh, I need to actually play the Ziggs right now. Actually, it might have been better. No, it been better than that. Um, what we want to do right now is we want to go ahead and make some synergies. So. The biggest mistake that I made when I was uh, go ahead and I was making my teams is I was focusing so much on making my units a higher tier, like two star and three star, that I wasn't I wasn't focusing on the synergies. The synergies are going to end up making a lot more of a this will be the first impact. step on my road to conquest. Now fight. That's the guy that we want to see right now. Um, some of these are very good, some of them aren't as good. Uh, cybernetic is one of those that I would consider probably not as good because for the effect to happen, you have to have all your, those units have items, and most of the time you're not going to have items on all your guys. Um, but I might actually be going a little bit too ahead of myself. If you haven't played this game, how this works is you go ahead, you buy units, and um, the team is going to get three copies of the unit, they meld into one, and become a two star unit. Um, So when you go ahead and get your two star unit, it obviously raises the stats and everything else. Um, there's a few oh God, this is what we want. We want this guy right here. And we need to uh, need to sell these guys. We're not gonna use them, we're just gonna go ahead and use them for uh, the cell fodder here. We wanna go ahead and get our gold up. Um, we wanna go ahead and we wanna make the best team possible. And I don't even remember what I was saying before. There's so much stuff going on. 
Um, we're gonna make the best team that we can possibly make here. Um, and one of the best teams right now is going to be uh, getting the Rebel buff, getting the Infiltrator buff, and then also getting the Rebel buff. I think you get this one. But I mean, as you see here, there, it'll show you like what units are included in there. Um, and, like what what effect it has. So, like if you have two brawlers, you get the 350 bonus health, which is really helpful. We just smacked that guy. I don't even know what he had. He probably didn't have anything too crazy. Um, and I think the other thing that people uh, need to realize when they're playing this game is a lot of people will just go ahead and go roll early and you don't really want to do that if you need help it. So if you see I have 10 gold right there and I have a little thing, I get bonus gold when I go ahead and hold damage. Let's raise the stakes. Oh shoot. I should have sold. Anyway. Um we want to go ahead and we want to keep this up above the 10 mark for for now. And we want to try to go ahead and keep bringing it up because in multiples of 10 you get extra gold. And we want to go ahead and get that extra gold. We want to get our economy going. We want to go ahead and make sure that uh, we're getting the most out of each round. Uh, that way we can outvalue your opponent. Just like any, you know, card game, it's like any of that stuff. That's what you want to go for. And right now we have a two-star Twisted Fate. They have a two-star Leona. They might get us just for the fact that the Leona is uh, bulky, but we're doing some decent damage. It's going to be tough. And now we're stunned. Yeah, we're probably not going to win this one. I, man. Yeah, we're not winning this one. So we're going to take a hit right there, which is fine. So every time we lose, we're going to take a hit from the units that weren't uh, dealt with. And then um, from just not being your opponent. And the more that we get into this, you're going to notice that that opponent is going to deal more damage. Uh, we really don't have anything to pick from right here, which is fine because we really don't want to spend anything because we're getting uh, that interest right now. So right now we're going to get plus two to our interest. And what's one? Do we want to go ahead and want to save that one? Uh, cue the little dicky song. You guys don't know what that song is. Save that money. Go and Google the music video. It's awesome. Uh, it makes one of the best music videos without spending money. Great rapper, by the way. So once again, we're probably yeah, we're gonna lose this one too. He has Malphite too. He has Blitzcrank too. Blitzcrank's bulky. Malphite's bulky. Uh, we really want to find some more of those Malphites. Malphite's one of those things that people will go ahead and grab because he's so good, and he's in so many good team comps that he's a really good early attack. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna focus right here because I want to see what we got. So I think I want. I want, I want to get low. When you go to the Curacao, it's not about getting the unit, it's about getting the item that's on the unit. And you know, sometimes you get that benefit. Yeah, keep hitting me in the right ball right there. Sometimes you get that benefit of, you know, getting the unit with the item that you want, but we, with the Curacao, we're, we're all here about items. It's not about, it, it's not about like, oh man, I really need that. Uh, sometimes you can pull for that if you want to, if you want to take that risk, but we're, we're, we're all about the items here. Let's see. Uh, we have another choice to I'm sure. Kha'Zix. We're going to sell this. We need... We need to get another bow. Um... So with this build, one of your biggest things is you want to rush Kha'Zix to level 3 as fast as possible. Um, because the more you level up, these chances change. And you'll kind of see that as soon as I start getting more and more levels to go over at this point right here. So I have a 60% chance to get a great unit, which Kha'Zix is. And then um, the more and more I level up, the more and more it's going to be like, oh, you like, 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 purple. Uh, all that kind of stuff. And since we're on a losing streak, we kind of want to lose this. We don't necessarily, yeah, but we don't want to lose it by that much. Uh, we also don't want to lose too much health too early. I found uh, that is a main factor as well. You don't want to do that. 
because uh, then you start fighting some people and sometimes they outvalue you once or twice and then you are just out of here. Um, so none of these really look like good picks. Um, I am going to go ahead and pick the Kastia. Uh, Kastia has Kill. the Infiltrator buff, which um, if you notice, if I put him, actually that actually might be better. Yeah, we're going to do that. So. The Kassia gave me the Infiltrator buff, and the Infiltrator buff says 50% bonus attack speed for the first, and it's uh, for the first, I can't move my mouse, for the first uh, six seconds at the start of combat. Um, so it's it's very useful because you want to do your main damage dealer. You just gotta come in, just go ahead, and start just going to town. Uh, and plus, it's gonna go ahead and go to those back line where a lot of people go ahead and they hide their um, DPSs. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and hit by you know, two. We're just fine. That's okay. We're still we're getting low on life here. We really don't want to take a lot more uh, hits here. We want to try to go ahead and start beating up on these guys a little bit more. Man, where? Charmed, I'm sure. We should have enough power to defeat these guys. If not, we're in trouble. So there's rounds in between where there's uh, just random combats against AI, so to speak, and they drop items. Hopefully, we do enough damage to where. should have rolled there but I wanted the economy so bad that was probably a mishap on my part you probably wanted to roll there I don't know ha having an extra income is so nice though you can't put a price on items on either so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put that on Kha'Zix we're at 54 we're not getting anything I'm gonna roll one time there we go so that's what we wanted right there we need that, we need that Kha'Zix right there and I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to sell Ziggs. That way I can pick up the Blitz We want to go ahead and uh, an save him for that Brawler buff. So now, now Kha'Zix should go ahead and go ahead and do a decent amount of damage. And I don't know what this guy is doing. We got a 2 star Ziggs, a 1 star Ziggs. He's kind of all over the place right now. He's going to beat us though. Wow. Going to beat us with that comp. And it looks like he might be playing uh, Hyper Roll Guardians right now. So Hyper Roll, basically, you just keep rolling until you go ahead and get the team comp. If you don't know what team comp is, uh, you can go ahead and go into Google and type in TFT uh, tier tactics. Or uh, TFT tactics on um, tiers, and you can go ahead and do what I'm gonna do, and the reason I'm setting this up is because everyone goes ahead and they put they put their um, DPS in this corner. So I usually put um, Blitz Crank right here. That way you can pull uh, their DPS. Hopefully, um, it kind of pulls them into like uh, our uh, Twisted Fate right here. And I don't have any reason to level up because I don't have an extra unit to put out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be uh, rolling just a little bit. Some people don't like to do this. I like to go ahead and roll. You know, we're actually going to do this And I am going to win this one easily. Uh, doesn't look like. And there's the stun by Blitz Frank. Doesn't look like he had too much of team comp going on there. And that can be a big difference. You could have a load of two stars, but if you don't have the team comp, you are in some trouble. Level 3 Twisted Fate. This is insane. I 
I think I need to. After this fight, I'm going to. I think that um, my game audio might be just a little loud. I don't know if it's muffling out my voice or not, but uh, looking at the audio right now, it looks like it's not. Are we going to lose that one? I thought for sure we were that one. Alright, so once again, we're back to Curacao. Uh, I think that we're going to go for... Dang it, he grabbed the sword. Okay, 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 that's okay. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab the blue. We're gonna go for the double tier, we're gonna get the Seraph. And I'm gonna alt tab out of this real quick. I know, not ideal. We're just gonna turn this down a little bit here. Awesome. Uh that recurve bow should not be there still. I don't think it should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell this. Um we got Fizz? Let's go. Fizz. Fizz, fizz, fizz. I still don't think it's worth leveling up. I don't have I get a third infiltrator, doesn't do anything. I already have blitz out there. Primary threat. Kill. rolling very aggressively we are down too much health to not roll aggressively here okay so now we got another two star okay i thought we had another two star we are in trouble um okay he wasn't a two star that makes a big difference here we gotta yeah we gotta we gotta start making some moves here Really like to get that three star twisted fade. It's so hard to know what to actually sell. We're very behind. I mean, we only have 36 health. We're not looking good as far as like actually winning this one. Um, and we really wanted that sword in the Curacao. I think so. I don't think I just go ahead and YOLO level up just to go ahead and get a unit out there that's not really. I mean, it's extra damage, but it's not really doing. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna get the other infiltrator out there. Hopefully, this does something. I mean, as you see, like we're starting to get to where we're not gonna be, we're gonna be less lucky to pull the Kha'Zix, so. We need that three star Kha'Zix. Okay, so we got this bad Ooh, I got a sword. Let's go. Yep, Guardian Angel, here we go. So, Guardian Angel, this is what you want on your Kha'Zix. And we have a three star split state. Let's go. Um, yeah, there we go. Give me another one. No, come on, give me another one. Ah, we're so close. We need one more. The other ones don't matter right now. The other unit we're looking for is Squid. Hopefully, we can win this one. Did you get it? Ah. Looking. Oh, we might get this. Yeah, the Guardian Angel comes in for the win. So Guardian Angel, when your uh, when your creature dies, it comes back with 30% health. It's made by using the 
uh, BF Sword and the um, Chainmail. Oh, let's see here, what can I do? I think I gotta go ahead and keep rolling for you, baby. Where are you? There we go. That works. That'll give us some room. Uh, Lucas just woke up. Uh, maybe we can get him on Hangouts for the last bit of this. It looks like this guy is either AFK or something because he has like, items everywhere. And that looks a lot like Hyper Roll. Man, I'm actually going to win this? Wow, I thought for sure I was gonna go ahead and I was gonna lose lose this. Man. I'll take it. There we go. Three star Kha'Zix. That's what we want. Now all we need is we need a sword. This makes charm, huh? Okay. We'll save that just in case we might need that. Alright, so now at this point. I think that we just sit. We really don't have to worry about. Oh man, that Blitzcrank is only level one. I'm not gonna roll anymore. I'd really like a level. Yeah, watch. Both our Blitzcrank are full each other. There you go. Close one. I'm getting stunned a lot, which isn't good. Oh yeah, we good. We good. This comp is very good. Kill. We are insane. I just realized I accidentally minimized my check. So hold on. Do that. I'm gonna bring this back up. I apologize. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Sword. What? Oh wow, it's so laggy. I got belt. I got belt. Ugh. Now I can go back and forth. This is what I wanted the whole time. Guess I'll just sell this. Don't really do anything for me. I might want to start leveling up because I really. I might just want to start leveling up. Yeah. It's not going to be a good thing. I'm just going to level up next time. I'm going to though we need to get fizz up to level two if we don't win i'm gonna sell uh this malphite Tough. I got a big shield on that poppy. 
We gotta do some big moves here. We even have a yep. Alright. Alright, big move time. Oh, we get an Every echo? Let's go! We got an echo with a 1%. 1% chance to get a legendary, and I got an echo. That is huge. That is huge. Echo is so good. I haven't seen one squid yet. Yeah, there we go. No other items? That's not cool. The only other item I need on Kha'Zix. Oh, there we go. We got the two-star blitz now. We got some fire in the tank. I don't think those matter. We're just not getting lucky with our rolls right now. We are getting Skarud. Skarud. Oh, shit. You lose the game right there. Okay, right there. It's gonna do it. Damn it! I probably should have been a little bit more aggressive with my rolls, but I was trying to keep the economy going. It's just. It's so hard to tell when you want to roll or not. So the guy in first, yeah, he's playing hyper roll, I think. Version of hyper roll, celestial. No, it's not. Well, he has Zaya. Zaya's really good. No, the comp was there. I even got an early echo. That just hurts, man. Oh boy. You just you hate to you hate to see it go like that. Especially when we were, we were getting so lucky towards the end too. And that just goes to show you like when you go ahead and you allow yourself to become too far down in health, sometimes you have to go ahead and start giving away your economy because you've given away so much health. So you have to be more aggressive with your rolls. And not having the squid, which is um, the Velkaz, as a, I believe, he is a unit that does like this laser beam in the back, and it's irreplaceable. Without having him, like the comp really doesn't work as well. So. <laughs>